give you a step-by-step -step process to go ahead and do this. All right. Um, the first thing is just writing down the information that is given. Okay. Now I already you know wrote this down, but we can write down the the information that I would probably go ahead and write down here is that we have um, we have a boat, so we have a um, like initial speed. Actually, we have his speed is 40 knots. Um, we have course of direction. His first course is 65 degrees. Second course is 155 degrees. And the time for that was for two hours, and this was for um, four hours. He was at those courses, right? Those are the directions he was at. Um, then they want us to, so step number two is identify what you need to solve. So step number two is we need to find um, the bearing, which is basically the direction, and the distance from original um, point, which is Fort Lauderdale. Uh, define our variables. Well, the direction is not really going to be a variable. That's just going to be here in our direction. Um, but number three, I'll say D. D is going to represent the distance from port or from Fort Lauderdale. Uh, number four is create a picture, the hard part. OK. So let's take a look at this, guys. So as remember, as I talked about, when you're dealing with navigation, we have our north, east, south, west, right? So this boat is traveling at 40 knots for two hours at a, dist at a direction or bearing of 65 degrees. So if we know that here, remember, remember bearings I showed you, that's positive now. We're not using our initial side anymore. This is your initial. 65 degrees, if that's one, if this is 90, I'm going to say 65 degrees is going to look something like this. Okay? Now, if he does two hours at 40 knots, that's going to represent our 80 nautical miles. Right? That's going to be our distance. Just like if you drive a car 60 miles per hour, you do that. Um, if you drive for one hour, you just drove 60 miles, right? If you do two hours, you did 120. So if you're driving, if your um, boat's at 40 knots for two hours, you've done a distance of 80 nautical miles, right? Yes. I have a yes. Well, it doesn't say 40 knots like, per hour. It just does 40. That's with the speed of 40 knots. And so 40 knots per year, 40 knots is going to be your distance um, for your thing, yes. So now, the next thing is we change course. Oh, I'm sorry. This is 65 degrees. Now, they say it changes course. So guess what? If you change course, you have to create a totally new navigation again. Because how are you going to identify where is 155 degrees if you don't have another reference, right? So if he's changing course, I'm going to create a new reference, where the new reference is going to be a new navigation. So 155 degrees, well, here all the way to here is 180. So I'm going to say 155 degrees It's probably going to look something like that. Does everybody agree with me? What do you mean? Remember, navigation. You start here as your initial side, right? It's not really an opposite. I mean, here is standard form. Right, exactly. Yes, it is different. It is the exact opposite as far as previously what we did. You're right. Um, so now, let's do a couple things. Now we need to kind of, this is where it kind of gets a little bit um, this is where you guys have to use some in kind of intuition. Um, if, if you guys remember, these two lines, these north-south lines, are parallel, correct? From geometry, 
if this is 65 degrees, then this has to be 65 degrees. If we know halfway around a circle is 180, if this is 155, what does this have to be? 25 degrees. 65 plus 25 is 90. Now, that's a really, really bad 90 degree angle, so let's maybe fix it so it looks better. But do you guys now see it's a 90 degree angle? So now we need to create a triangle to represent what is the distance and the bearing. So the angle that I'm going to be finding, or the length that I'm going to be finding, so anyways, they traveled this distance, 155, for four hours. So that's going to be 160 nautical miles. So now we have a right angle, right? Yes? Again, these are what we call alternate interior angles. OK, halfway around a circle is 180. If this is 155, how much farther do you need to get to get to 180? So that's 65, that's 25, that adds up to 90. Does that make sense? OK, so ladies and gentlemen, we have a right triangle. We have the adjacent side and the thing. We need to figure out what the hypotenuse is. Can we figure out what the hypotenuse is? Yeah. Sir, so we would say d, which is our distance, is equal to 80 squared plus 160 squared. So I do 80 squared plus 160 squared. And then I take the square root of that. And I get 178.9 or 89. Okay. Now, the last thing is we need to figure out this direction, right? Or this angle. Correct? How do I do what? 40 knots for, oh, I didn't write that in there, four hours. 40 knots for four hours. Four times 40, 180, or 160. Now, ladies and gentlemen, do we have an, uh, uh, if we want to figure out this angle, this is your side length, um, or this is, here's your hypotenuse, here's your angle, so therefore we technically have opposite over adjacent, right? So could we write the tangent of theta? Here is the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always directly across. I know my triangle doesn't look great. But your hypotenuse is always directly across from your right angle, right? Do you agree with me? That's my right angle. Hypotenuse is always directly across from it. So therefore, that's my opposite, that's my adjacent. Because the adjacent side always connects your angle to the 90 degree angle, right? So tangent is going to equal um, 160 degrees over 80 degrees. So tangent inverse of 2 is equal to theta. So I'll make sure I'm in radian mode and tan, I'm sorry, degree mode. Tan inverse of 2 is going to be 63.43 degrees. So this angle is 63.43 degrees. However, ladies and gentlemen, is that the angle that they're asking? No, they're asking for what the bearing is from his original point, right? So we also got to add 63.343 to 65. So my final bearing, so we know the distance is 178.89. Um, and that's going to be our nautical, uh, nautical miles, which I'll write in there at the end. And then this one is going to be um, 65, so that's going to be 128. Because we're looking for this angle. We're looking for the bearing, right? If, they're, if I was going to say, well, how far is this person out? They're going to say he's 128 from due north, correct? There is another way I could write it, which I'll talk about um, after I have the video on it. For which one here? Because you're trying to find the angle. Remember, you can only take the tangent of an angle. 
We don't know what the angle is. So how do you, you got to un, so you, right. You can only take the tangent of an angle. We don't know what the angle is. So we take inverse tangent is going to give us what the angle is. Because that's what we have done. <laughs>